I felt like nobody took me seriously and I was so frustrated that nobody took me seriously and that day it finally hit me, you don't take yourself seriously. Because if you took yourself seriously, you would do radically different things with your time. He said, Joshua, what do you do with all your time? I got up on my high horse and I was like, well, Russ, started a nonprofit organization where I train athletes in the toughest housing project in the country where training day was filmed and I throw humanitarian events and I do this and I do that and I need a social life, right? So I explained all these things that I did with him and, and he bought it. And the interesting thing is, is that whenever we ask people, you know, what do you do with all your time, they, they make really good excuses too. But at some point, you've got to ask yourself, what's more important, your excuses or your dreams? Because we, we have a really bad habit in this country, and um, it's called busyness. We stay busy instead of putting first things first and scheduling our priorities. We just try and prioritize our schedule. John Wooden said that the softest pillow is a clear conscience. And that night, my pillow felt like a, a, a hard, crusty rock because that question just kept bouncing around my head. It just kept reverberating around. What do you do with all your time? What do you do with all your time? What do you do with all your time? And I realized for the first time in my life that I felt like nobody took me seriously and I was so frustrated that nobody took me seriously and that day it finally hit me, you don't take yourself seriously. Because if you took yourself seriously, you would do radically different things with your time. And that's why I tell people today that make sure your willingness to sacrifice and how you use your 86,400 seconds every single day is in direct proportion to the size of your dreams because I realized that I had massive dreams, but the way that I used my time was not in direct proportion to the size of my dreams.